Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video, we're going to be looking at how much glue you need to glue your veneer work. Veneers are thin slices of wood, much like this one, and you can use a variety of wood veneers uh, in terms of color or grain structure to come up with different patterns. For my current project, I am using white oak to create a diamond shape pattern, but for this piano bench top, I have used a lot more woods. Obviously, the more complicated the design is, the longer it takes to do it, and one of the ways you can screw your project up is during the gluing process. Too little glue will result in poor addition, and eventually the uh, veneers will begin to break away. Too much glue, and you're gonna end up with glue bubbles, and that glue cannot be squeezed out anywhere else. So you need to have the right amount of glue for your project to have a nice flat surface. When I originally began the uh, veneering project or veneering uh, part of my work, the instructor simply said, it should look like spilled milk. That's not scientific enough for me. I mean, if you spill milk and the surface is a little bit uh, concave, that's gonna look a lot different than a completely flat surface. But in both cases, you know, spilled milk uh, has a particular volume. So I just needed to find out the right volume for my project to glue it properly. Uh, obviously, the height and the width will be uh, different, but the one thing constant is going to be the thickness of glue that I needed on the surface of, my, uh, of the wood. I did a scientific experiment, because I cannot measure spilled milk with my instruments. I uh, did a scientific experiment where I had five test beds and on the surface of each test bed, I had uh, glue in 0.1 millimeter increments. So it was 0.1 through 0.5. Anything above that was a complete waste of glue because uh, not only you're using a lot of glue, that extra glue also helps in the slipping and sliding of your pattern. And if you're looking, if you're working with uh, constraints and your pattern slips and slides into places you don't want it to go, then the whole thing is basically screwed up once again. So anything above 0.5 millimeters of glue thickness is completely waste of time and energy and glue. Uh, so I looked at the other, uh, the other range, 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. Uh, you can do it in your home uh, to, uh, to do the same thing, but I'm going to save you a couple of hours. And I would say that between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters of glue thickness is perfect for veneer work. Uh, of course, you need to know your woods, anything like red oak or African paddock that are open grained woods. Uh, you need to use a little bit less glue because that extra glue will seep through the pores and come on the surface of your pattern. Uh, anything close grain like maple cherry, uh, definitely you can use up to 0.3, but then even 0.3 is a little bit of an overkill. So now that we know how much thickness of glue is optimal, uh, and I kind of go usually in between 0.25, uh, now we can simply calculate the volume of glue that we need. And my tip is use the metric scale and use the cubic centimeters in particular. Uh, because little cups like these, even though they're graded in different uh, scales, I mean, I have cubic centimeters, milliliters, fluid ounces, tablespoons and teaspoons, uh, and even a measuring scaled dram, which I'm not sure what that is, um, the metric scale, the cubic centimeter scale, gets you right up one of the measurement scales right here, and you don't need to convert anything else. So you convert everything into cubic centimeters and just use that measurement right here to come up with your amount of glue. Uh, for example, in my current project, which is 72 by 46 by 0.025 centimeters, the, uh, it comes up to roughly 80 cubic centimeters. So I simply need two and two thirds of this particular cup. So now that we know how to calculate the amount of glue, let's get gluing. Uh, so the footage will be sped up and the next time you see me talking is when we inspect the pattern for flatness. Let's get gluing.
and it's all nicely glued up. I just took it out of the uh, bag. It's been there about two to two and a half hours. And let's see now with the ruler if there is any glue bubble. Looks pretty straight to me. And this is how you get repeatable results. So remember between 0.2 and 0.3 millimeters of thickness of glue on your surface. Then you calculate the volume and that's how much glue you need. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.